Hereditary Chief George Quaxeter Jr. of the Lee Kuo Nation has been raising concerns for fish farms on Vancouver Island on the coast of BC for two decades. He says he's looked at 40 of the fish farms on BC's coast and says sea lice are devastating the migration routes of wild salmon. Sea lice are like bats. They need blood. So they go to those farms and they smell those uh, Atlantic salmon there that just keep pulling blood out of them. And they keep redu reproducing at those pens. So there's clouds of sea lice at the pens. And then when the baby fish go by that don't get, get into the pens, they get all sea lice up and killed off. BC salmon farms are a controversial issue because they have signed agreements with a few elected band councils, including Quaxeter Juniors near Canberra River. But he says as a hereditary chief, he remains opposed. One month ago, Quaxeter Jr. held a rally where he says 97 nations came out against fish farms. This past weekend, along with hereditary chiefs from the Wiwakai and Comox nations, a rally was held to call for no more fish farms on the Discovery Islands. We went out there and made a noise, told them we do not want any farms restocked, period. We were very, very fortunate, Bernadette Jordan, the fisheries lady last year, she took these 19 out of my territory. And now these fellas were threatened to restock them, you know what I mean? Late in 2020, Department of Fisheries and Oceans Minister Bernadette Jordan ordered a phase out of fish farming, with nearly 20 to be shut down in June of 2022. Fish farm operators Maui Canada West, Surmac, and Craig Seafood applied for a judicial review. Then in April, a federal court judge ruled in favor of the fish farmers, saying DFO's order lacked fairness and she set aside the phase out. This June 29th, 79 fish farm licenses in BC are set to expire. The new DFO minister, Joyce Murray, will need to make a decision to renew or not. We contacted DFO and the provincial governments for a statement. DFO did not respond before airtime. In an email statement to APTN News, the BC Ministry of Land, Water and Resource Stewardship said, they understand the federal government is working to address open net salmon farming and they are calling for collaboration with stakeholders. We have brought together ministers from key portfolios to call upon the federal government to work collaboratively with First Nations and local governments and commit to a transition plan that supports families, coastal communities, and companies. Quack Sister has concerns about the future of wild salmon and BC's coast if fish farm licenses are renewed. We're going to end off with no salmon. We're going to end off with no herring. No, any kind of fish in the waters, it's going to become really big coast town in the waters. Lee Wilson, APTN National News, Kitimat.